Look at that. The Tube by Knight. I had this bait right here in a video with my mom's 1977 tackle box. I've already talked about it. You guys know how much I like to fish a tube jig, especially a natural goby for smallmouth bass. But I figured we're going to talk about this again and this whole thing again. And I really do feel like the older generations that watch my channel will enjoy this video. If you go into the analytics section of my channel, into the demographics by viewer, a lot of people aged 35 to 70 actually really enjoy my videos. So if you're wondering, is this part of the reason why I'm talking about this tube that was supposed to change bass fishing in 1977 and be Texas rigged or Carolina rigged? Yes, this and this, boy. How it has changed. Natural Gobi, Golden Shiner, The Tube. Knight Manufacturing Co., Tyler, Texas. If anybody knows anything about this tube, do me a favor, stop what you're doing right now. Help me out. Let me know in the comment section below. Have you ever used this tube? Is it worth money? Should I open it and talk about it? Should I open it and fish it? Should I just keep it and not use it? I need your help. Well, I don't need your help, but... Okay, so you guys know that when I think of a smallmouth bass, you know, that's tube, drop shot, jerk bait, spy bait, crank bait, the whole deal, but especially a tube during a lot of times of the year. May, June, July, August, fall, you name it. They have a lot of different brands of tubes, okay? They have the coffee tube. They have a tube by Venom. They have a Poor Boy. Strike King has one. Zoom has one. But so far, the Strike King coffee tube does have to be my favorite. I mean, I know I keep doing this, but just look at the natural goby. Just look at how good that looks. Look at the Golden Shiner. Look. How does that not scream bass fishing to you? Especially here in the north. These will work in other states. But up north? Oh, man. You think of something like that. Rigged on a Strike King quarter ounce tube jig. Oh, man. And you even look at Look at Gobi profile in the three eighths. If you take it out and look at it, which we will have to do. Look, if you've ever seen a Gobi, like a natural Gobi, or even a darker Gobi up here in Michigan on like Lake St. Clair, that does look pretty familiar. So how does the three eighths, there we go. How does the three eighths in the quarter ounce, how, how do these have anything to do with this? Good question. Made in the USA, squeeze me, and look, I'm a tube. If you flip the package over, <laughs> it said it's supposed to stand on its head at a 90 degree angle to the bottom. It has the same feel as an earthworm. Produces 30% more sound than solid plastic worms. The skirt-like tail produces unique action. It says on the package, the tube is the newest contribution to the world of bass fishing. And if you look on the package, it says method one is to Texas rig it. It says method two is a topwater rig. Method three is a Carolina rig. <laughs> For the Texas rig, it says <laughs> standard slip sinker. Recommended maximum 3 aught sprout for 6-inch tube. A sprout hook. So basically that sprout hook is a... Offset chain groom EWG 3 aught hook. Is that what they were talking about in 1977? And why do I say 1977? Because look down here. Copyright 1977, okay? For the top water, use no weight. Rig by using 3 aught sprout hook. The tube will float. 
Place the slip sinker in the desired distance away from the tube. Insert a toothpick into the sinker. You will be able to regulate the distance the tube floats off the bottom for the Carolina rig. So in conclusion, I mean, what was the whole point of this video? I mean, kind of clickbait, right? Yeah, I wanted it to get views. I wanted to show this tube. I wanted to, to really engage the comments. So if you are someone who knows about this product or part of the older generation that watches my channel, do me a favor and comment below. Have you ever used this tube? Have you ever caught fish on it? Is it worth money? Is this just before they decided that this is a tube for bass fishing or any other brand? Let me know in the comments. You guys know I love to read your stories and look, just, just look at that. This was a tube before this was a tube. That is so cool to me. Um, yeah. I mean, I'm going to have to pick a cool thumbnail. And I really look forward to hearing from the older generation in the comments about lures. And you know what? While we're on the topic of tubes, tell me about some of the crankbaits or topwaters or Texas rig baits. Let's go beyond this. Let's really open the discussion. I'll see you guys in the comments. That's a bite. Come on. Yeah. Right away. Got money. Oh, yes. I think that's a hog. Good one. Close to it. Very good one. Got him that time. Go big. Oh, yeah. Big. big? I think it is. Dude, get out of here. Oh. Oh, wow. Still, I'll take it. Look at this. Look at that fat smallmouth, dude. Got him. One hundred percent. He had it in his mouth. I set the hook too quick. There he is again. Dude. No, and that looks that's a big one. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a big hunter. Yeah, that's a big one for sure. You throw that one on the strainer. <laughs> really? No. Got it. 